Welcome to St. Mark Family Youth and Children Time. Welcome to Monday Thursday. Wait, what is Monday Thursday? Well, it's a day we remember and celebrate Jesus' last meal. We call this meal the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper. And we remember this Last Supper each week when we have communion in church. This event was the same week of Palm Sunday, and today the disciples gathered with Jesus for the Passover meal. During the final meal with his disciples, Jesus said and did many things to try and prepare his disciples for his imminent death and departure. One of the things Jesus said was, I give you a new commandment, love one another, just as I have loved you. You must also love one another. There were other things as well, But as Jesus prepared his disciples for a new time when he would not be with them, he stressed the need for his people to love one another. Let's hear what happened that night with Jesus and the disciples in the upper room. Jesus and his disciples were getting ready for the Passover festival. Jesus knew that it was almost time for him to leave his home on earth and go back to heaven. While they were eating dinner, Jesus had a lot of things on his mind. He knew that one of his friends was going to betray him. That means his friend was going to do something bad. He was going to do something you don't do to a friend. Jesus also knew that God had a plan and that everything was under control. After dinner, Jesus got up. He got a bucket of water and started washing the disciples' feet. He came to Simon Peter. Simon Peter said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, yes. I know you don't understand right now what I am doing, but one day you will. No, said Peter, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash your feet, you have no part with me. Jesus was right. Simon Peter did not really understand, but he said, Then, Lord, wash not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. You see, usually only servants washed people's feet, and Jesus was a king. A king shouldn't be washing anyone's feet. But Jesus did this to teach his friends a lesson. He said, you should help people. Everyone should be a servant and help the people around them. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. They must have looked blank because Jesus then said, You call me teacher and Lord, and that is right for you to do because that is what I am. Now that I am your teacher and your Lord, and I have washed your feet, you should see that I have set you an example that you should do the same for others. He said to them, I give you a new commandment. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. Jesus was the greatest person to ever live, and he wasn't too good to wash other people's feet. Now, we don't often wash people's feet, but what are some other ways that you can help the people in your life? We can get jobs that help people, or help the poor, or give water to animals, or help with the chores around the house. There's so many ways to help. Have you ever played a game when you were the winner? When we play games like musical chairs or hot potato, we want to be the winner. Winning makes us feel like we are the best. However, Jesus taught us that we don't have to be the best all the time. It is better to be a servant and love others. Uh, That doesn't mean you have to lose all the time, but it does mean that we should care more about helping others than making ourselves look good. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done. Please show us what kind of king you are and help us to get to know you better. 